to Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to make a special summertime treat and I was actually reminded by another YouTuber made a, a kind of a spin on this but not not like I do it exactly and using different seasonings so I said oh yeah I've got to make that I haven't made that in a couple of years so I'm going to make a strawberry a rhubarb salsa so you only need one stock, stock small stock of rhubarb uh, honestly, you can even use a half a stock. It, it depends on how much tartness you want in this. And then you want strawberries. It started out at two pounds. It's really probably only a pound and a half. There was a bunch of icky ones. Um, washed up jalapenos, and I'll judge. I kind of eyeball it by color in the bowl. So I've got a white onion, half a white onion, half a purple onion. I usually do a little bit of both. I like the color change. And on contrast, you got a couple of limes, some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, some local honey, just to counteract the tartness from that. Um, and then I've got Mexican oregano, cumin, and salt with smoked paprika. Let's, oh, it's cilantro. Did I say cilantro? Okay, we're going to get to chopping and um, make us up a delicious summertime, spring to summertime salsa because the rhubarb is out there, it's thick. And I had a, an extra one left over. I was like, oh, oh, I'm gonna make salsa. Okay, come on in, let's do it. So I want the rhubarb chopped up pretty fine. I'm gonna do it all in the Bedelia chopper and we want small pieces because it's rhubarb, it's tart, it's tangy, it's delicious and it's really, really good for you. So chop that up, get your chopper on. And then again, the onions, I kind of want those the same size and the jalapenos. So every, all of that is gonna be on the chopper. I'm not sure if I wanna do the strawberries like that. Usually I just hold them and um, cut them by hand. So let me, let me see what I wanna do here before I get too crazy. So I'm gonna get this onion sliced you want to slice the onion first and then put it on the chopper and then you'll get nice uniform pieces and I love this chopper it always gives me the perfect size especially for salsa and stuff like that I do like the Tupperware chopper but um, for this one I, it's really visual as well as um, texture. So there you go. See? All right. Jalapenos are going to go on there too. So purple and white onion. Oh my gosh. This is such a delicious salsa and you're going to be shocked. Your family will go, what? Yes. Delicious. Okay. And this will be enough to share. So as you can see, we're getting a nice fine chop on that. Let's do jalapeno. Now I want one that's not seeded. I want some heat. And we'll, we'll seed the other two because I want the flavor of the jalapeno as well. Um, the heat, I mean, jalapenos to me aren't hot, but I do want some of that, but it is salsa. Um, okay, now we got cheek these other jalapenos and we'll get our strawberries cut up and that this is so easy you can do this in literally i don't know 10 minutes um i do like to let mine sit in the refrigerator a little while because the strawberries will macerate in the in the honey a little bit and the vinegar they're going to release a lot of their moisture which is absolutely fine with me this is wonderful on a um, with fish, um, any kind of seafood you want to put it next to. It's delicious. And I don't have any chips, so you're going to have me taste test with a spoon. Come on, release that thing. There go. It's starting to get a little full. But I know, I know I'm going to want more jalapeno in there. Okay. And it just gave me a little bit more. <laughs> okay. 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 
I'm gonna get this other jalapeno in. I'm gonna finally chop my cilantro and I'll, I'll chop up my strawberries, okay? Put on that. And I'll be back. Um, I got all my strawberries cut up. They're just in little, I mean, the, oops, I'll have to eat that one. Man, no. Um, you know, however big you want them. So I need a spatula or something that will work for that. And I'm gonna add my honey. And if you you know, if you don't want honey, you can use sugar or you can use artificial sweetener or, or natural sweetener. So I'm I'm not gonna measure this, I'm just going by the amount. So drizzle across the top, and this honey is so good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, local honey is the best. And then again. I'm probably not going to measure much, but let me get a measuring cup just in case, because we do want somebody to be able to replicate this. This is the apple cider vinegar. We'll start with a quarter of a cup. I love that. And we need lime juice. And I've already zested my lime. So I've zested the lime. Put that right there, done. And let's get these limes that have been zested. I, that's the zest of roughly two limes. And we're gonna juice them. Mm. Oh, my, it's making me pucker up. Ooh, that was juicy. For a little guy, that was really juicy. Um, so, limes. I wasn't, I wasn't sure when I bought that big bag of limes at Costco if I'd be able to use them all, but boy, I sure have. Use them for a lot of things. Tacos, all that. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of my way. And I'm gonna give that a little bit of a toss here. Um, let's get my hands wiped off. Uh, do I need this anymore? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, and I want, whoa. Okay, man down. Okay, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and the lid went flying. So there you go. And we're just gonna toss that. These are gonna start to macerate pretty quickly, and that's okay because you can use this for white fish. Oh my gosh, you guys, so delicious! In fact, I've got some beautiful scallops that I'm actually contemplating on doing, uh, sauteing them in butter and topping them with a beautiful dollop of the uh, strawberry rhubarb salsa. Okay, so now we have all of our other entertainers here. <clears throat> the jalapenos, the rhubarb, the white and the red onion. And I'm gonna get that in there. And like I said, I like to leave this sit in the refrigerator for oh, in a couple of hours anyways. It's a great make ahead if you were gonna have a barbecue. Let's say you were grilling fish. Let's do it. And I do need my cutting board back because I've gotta cut up cilantro. So I'm just gonna toss this real quick and we'll get our cilantro cut up. And oh, look how pretty this is gonna be. It's absolutely gorgeous you know we make mango salsa we make salsas with papaya the sweet and the spicy and savory it just is absolutely fantastic so making my mouth water we got a man down okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna get my cilantro ready to go and then i'll season this up i'll be right back okay so here we go got my cilantro about a I don't know, it's a good quarter of a cup of loose cilantro. You can add as much or little as you like. I feel like you need to be able to see it and have a little bit of it in every bite. So that's how I judge it. And it looks like we've got that, we've accomplished that. And I wish that the strawberries, I would like a couple more strawberries in there, but isn't that beautiful? Mm. Uh, you know, we just, it is, it is what it is. So I'm gonna take my, what is this? My half a tablespoon. 
and we're gonna, I am klutzy today, get my smoked paprika, about a half of a tablespoon. We'll start with that. We need a half a tablespoon of salt. That's gonna help the maceration. And oregano, Mexican oregano, gotta have it. We're gonna measure that a little bit different. Tablespoon. And cumin. I love that little back note of cumin. You don't need much, but I'm gonna do a heaping half a tablespoon. All right, now let's toss it and we'll give it a little bit of a taste and see where we're at. Mm, it smells wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So this is a great table salsa. What a fun thing to serve with pita chips, the tortilla chips. You surprise your family, your friends with a new salsa. What it has rhubarb in it? <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. Mm. It's beautiful. It smells so good. So let's make sure we've got enough salt and all the other spices. I wanna make sure we're spot on. I usually don't measure. I just do it by the amount and kind of eyeball and taste. So we're gonna give this a little bit of a whirl and see what we got. I want a little bit of everything here. So there we go. All right, here's my taste test, guys. Mm, it looks so good. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. Mm. It's sweet. It's got that crunch. And just a bit, at the very end, you go, whoa, is that rhubarb? It's not hot. I could add, I could tolerate some heat. So, hmm. I'm going to add some cayenne. I want a little bit of heat. Before, I would add another jalapeno. But I honestly, I don't think they're very hot. I think that we're in the non-hot jalapeno season or something. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the top here. Get it mixed in really good and we'll do one more taste test for you and see what we got. So if you don't like hot and you just want, you know, just a really pretty salsa, it was perfect just the way it was. Not hot at all, no heat. Just the sweet, the tart, the tangy and the crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do it. And I even tried to get jalapeno, so here, now we got a big bite, right? Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that's perfect. I don't want to change anything. It's got just a little bit of kick, not much at all. Even if you're a wimpy lipper, it, it won't be bad for you. You're gonna love it. And that background of the rhubarb at the very end is absolutely delightful, spot on. And I could have used a little bit more rhubarb, a bigger stock, but I think because I was lacking in a few strawberries, I think it's absolutely perfect. So adjust it however you like, play with it and enjoy because this is a delicious summertime salsa. A great way to use up your fruit and mm, you can get some salsa on the table. It's healthy too. All right, guys, I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Mm. Linda's Pantry.